With the new 1.10 patch coming out into F1 2021, new updates are coming to ERO, not only in terms of calendar. We will also say about the new rules coming to the racing and first season 7 reveals. If you would like to follow more league racing content, feel free to click the like and subscription button. It's free and you can always change your mind. But now, let's get into it. First of all, we have decided to update our calendar. As we would like to make drivers get used to Portimao's circuit, the Portuguese Grand Prix has been delayed to round 9, being replaced by the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Not only that, but Portimao replaces the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. However, the race at Imola is going to be on round 11 at the end of October, replacing the night race at Monaco. We will not race on the streets of the Principality this season. After noticing the low quality of racing at some parts of lower divisions races, we have decided to change the safety car rules out there in F5, F4 and PC2. They will have the safety car being reduced in the lobby settings. With the performance patch being out in F1 2021, we also have to temporarily close signups. It will not last longer than a week. Once we will make a mini inner recruitment within our 7 divisions, we will tell you the new time trial gaps and the signups should be on possibly even this week. We are also doing a slight change in terms of absences. In the first four rounds of the season, we were reminding people to mark their attendance on the new grid maker bot we have decided to join into our league. But from this weekend, we will not be doing it. So the drivers have to keep an eye out when they are not going to race, they have to report it and there will be no reminder. Noticing that there is a huge rotation between the drivers, especially in the reserves, we have decided to lift off the waiting list rule. There was a limit of 7 reserve drivers in every division, but we have decided not to implement that yet, and this rule is currently non-existing. The plans to organize the sprint qualifying in Euro are still alive, however, if they will happen, they will take place only in our top 3 divisions, which are F1, F2 and PC1. Most likely places to organize the sprint race in are France, Monza, Imola and Mexico. Sprint qualifying will happen only once on each of these three divisions and it will be a five laps race without any kind of one shot or short qualifying. The grid for that sprint race is going to be decided not by qualifying at any kind, but championship standings. The top eight is going to be reversed on that grid and the rest is setting up based on the championship standings. If there is an absence from one of the drivers from top eight, the ninth driver jumps into 8th place and he is taking part on that reverse party. So it's going to be the top 8 of championship from drivers who are taking part in the race. The race itself is going to be 5 laps long. And it will not only make the grid for the actual 50% race, but also will make points to the championship standings. The winner of the sprint is getting 3 points, the second place will get 2, and the one to get on the first step of the podium in the sprint qualifying gets one single point. After explaining the new rules for the season 6, we also can reveal you first information about season 7, which will be the first 2022 season. We will have three recruitment tracks as usual, and they are going to be Russia, Mexico and Spain, the last track being under wet conditions. We'll be organizing a debut driver's race as well as last season, and it's going to be this time in Austria for both PC and PlayStation, and if there's enough drivers, also for Xbox. The signups themselves start at 1st November, and the debut driver's race, with the signups finishing, is at 2nd of January 2022. Grids should be revealed next week after finishing the signups, and at 30th of January, considering F1 race times, we will be starting the season and circuit of the Americas and finishing it on 29th of May at Monza. That's it for today's video, hope you enjoyed this one and if so, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button, we'll be very thankful to you, same as the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for watching and we'll see you on the Azerbaijan Grand Prix this weekend.